おはようございます。岡井崎です。Welcome back, or if you're just new to this channel, this is the apartment that I've been living in for the past four months since I arrived in Fukuoka. This is the last day. I'll be here. I'm moving out. I've already technically moved into my new apartment yesterday, and I'm moving the remainder of whatever else I have into that apartment. So, this is the last time I'll be here.、Uh, I had intended、uh, full on to give you、uh, a tour during my living time here,、um, but I just never got around to it. So, I'll do a quick one、uh, today and compare it to the new one as well. Um, what you will see here is not、uh, how I had it set up.、Uh, I've, re I've rearranged everything back to how、uh, it was when I moved in here.、Uh, technically, I moved everything considerably.、Uh, so the layout you'll see is very different.、Uh, I put things away、uh, that I wasn't using and, and whatever, but、uh, you'll see. So let's、uh, just do a brief tour and head over to the new apartment. Okay, so right off from the elevator on the sixth floor. This is my apartment right here. It's an intercom button to call through. This is the entrance right here. And immediately right in front, we've got a little storage for shoes and anything else you want to put in there, a pantry as well. The landlord provided me with a few things,、uh, one of which is a pair of slippers, which are.、Um, Yeah, they're not, uh, uh, they're not gonna, not really gonna work、uh, for that. <laughs> uh, nice umbrella holder. If you know、uh, Japan, everyone uses umbrellas because it rains here often, and umbrellas are very cheap and easy to come by. And then right off the entrance is a closet which also holds the washing machine. It's just a single.、Um, Washer and it air dries、uh, as well, so I don't need an additional dryer technically, but I can hang things up if、uh, I need to as well. Little storage shelf up there. I actually use this、uh, mostly for all of my storage. I had、uh, two suitcases in here,、um, speaker boxes up here, and a couple other things、uh, as well, because the apartment doesn't really have any other storage. This was the main area. Okay, and then into the kitchen. Which is right here. In one of my first videos, you've probably seen this、uh, area. I did some cooking on it. There's a single gas range here.、Uh, I was provided with a rice cooker, a kettle, a frying pan.、Uh, I won't be taking that stuff with me because it belongs to the apartment. I asked if I could buy it off him, but、uh, he declined. And then there's a drying rack up here. He gave me some、uh, dishes. Uh, to get sorted away. I didn't bother really buying new ones. There's a few things that I have bought over time, but、uh, I didn't want to acquire too much because I knew that I'd be moving. Down here, there's a toaster oven and some other、uh, utensils as well that he provided me with. Okay, so from the entrance and next to the washing machine closet is the toilet. The toilet is separate from the shower. So the shower、uh, is actually next to the toilet in a separate room. So let's have a look in here. Very simple setup in here. There's also a window、uh, for airflow, which makes it very cold in the winter because Japanese apartments don't, old Japanese apartments don't have insulation. So obviously, there's no sink in here. So when you flush the toilet on the side here, water comes out of this spout and you wash your hands through there and then it just refills the toilet from there. Okay, so next to the toilet is the shower area. This does have a sink in it if you so choose. Bathtub, shower head, and also a window as well for some airflow. Okay, and off from the kitchen is a closet. I use this for my clothes and some other storage as well.、Uh, the landlord provided me with all this stuff, which I didn't really use. I bought my own stuff、uh, as well.、Uh, there was an iron and ironing board,、uh, hair dryer, and then there's also a vacuum and a fan. And now into the main room area. Which is quite small, obviously. 
just a one person, single apartment. But everything you see here, uh, the landlord had provided. It was, it was a furnished place. I didn't buy any uh, larger furniture. But uh, up here is a microwave and then fridge. I never used the microwave, so I had it stored elsewhere. And like I said before, this layout is not what you see. I completely moved everything around and put some stuff away so I didn't have to look at it or use it. I like to have things just kind of out. The time is grr. If you get the pun, leave it in the comments. Okay, the intercom that I mentioned before at the front door is just here so I can answer uh, both in the main lobby downstairs and just outside my door as well. So I can let people in from downstairs without having to go down. Simple fridge, fridge on top, freezer on the bottom, small single bed. When you move into an apartment, you get an unagreeable amount of mail uh, and flyers that aren't for you, they're just stuff and things. Uh, especially Hello Kitty magnets, those are famous here. <laughs> uh, but it's just flyers of, what well, could be furniture, it could be food, could be cell phone, internet plans, uh, real estate agents, uh, new restaurants that are opening, um, just things, also stuff from previous tenants that lived here and have moved on. Uh, just an endless amount of stuff. This that you're all seeing uh, right now, all these flyers uh, that I collect from my mailbox on a daily basis, is probably mm, maybe a week and a half, about yeah, maybe eight or nine days worth of stuff. It's just every day. It's just, you just get stuff. And I don't know how to stop it. What a waste. And this is the desk I used, a very tiny small chair, which was actually kind of comfortable. I just used it. I didn't want to buy another one. <laughs> There's a remote for the light just here. And when I moved in, this light was a lot lower, probably hanging about uh, here, give or take. So I requested to the landlord, landlord if he could change that because I was always hitting my head on it. So he moved it uh, to this uh, low profile one. And just at the entrance, there's also uh, a low hanging light. Uh, these glass pieces I actually uh, removed while I was living here because I would always hit my head on them. A little storage area here uh, with a little TV. Um, I never used it. I think the day I moved in, I turned it on for about four seconds to see if it works. And uh, yeah, it works. But I had stored that away because I never used it. Behind it is the internet modem. And it is set up for cable TV, uh, which like, I obviously never used. I, this thing is, I don't know, it's older than dirt, so I don't really know uh, what it's about. And thankfully, I have a corner unit, so I have uh, the balcony windows, and I also have these side windows, which is great for at least getting some light uh, in here. Um, it just looks off to uh, the to a, a building. So that's, that's the view from this side. But even with the natural light, as you can see, everything is largely brown and a little dark. So it wasn't a very energetic place. This is the air conditioner as well. Again, I think that's old, old, old. Furoi. <laughs> There's a remote right here attached to the wall that you can control it from and all your different settings in terms of airflow and heat and cool and dry and everything, and a timer. Okay, and off the far end of the apartment is the balcony. And this view is a lot better. In the distance there, you can see mountains. And my street below. And then the main street is just uh, out that way. And the station is just around the corner. I will miss that view though, but I think my new apartment has a better one.
Okay, so that's that. Thank you for viewing this uh, apartment. <laughs> uh, sorry again, it's on the last day of living here, but uh, I am happy to be moving, very happy. Uh, this is the apartment that the school had set me up with. Um, my new one I found on my own. So when I moved in here, or before I moved in here, uh, when I paid my tuition to the school, I had to pay my full tuition uh, for the year up front, as well as this apartment uh, for 12 months up front as well. But now that I'm moving, and I've given notice that I'm moving, I'm able to get uh, the apartment cost refunded. Uh, minus a cleaning fee. I don't know what that fee is at the moment, but I'll get that all that refunded. Same with my new apartment. I had to pay 14 months uh, in advance. So you get uh, the year kind of prepaid and you pay like a two month deposit as well. So I can still move out of that apartment at any time with 14 days notice and get a full refund minus cleaning fee and every, any damage. But yeah, that means I don't have to worry about rent for the next year. I just gotta pay bills and furnish the place. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is your apartment like this in Japan? Bigger, smaller, different, about the same? Uh, this building and unit is a little older. And although I haven't enjoyed the apartment specifically, the area is quite convenient. Very close to the station, close to grocery, close to everything kind of in, in a very convenient distance. But. Farewell, sayonara, let's go.